Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Mad Dog. The Mad Dog is a clan heavy mech, which is uh, more or less uh, one of the most iconic missile boats on the battlefield. So we are using ATMs today. By the way, completely disregard that I'm using the Mad Dog A Center Torso. This is just the only, oh no, it's not the only Mad Dog that I own, but one of the Mad Dogs that I own. It would be better if you just go for a Mad Dog Prime or a Mad Dog H. Both of them are better. Uh, you just leave the Omnipods as they are and you can do the same build but with uh, better quirks. But I, again, I don't own the Prime or the H, therefore I am using the, the A here, which uh, you know doesn't let me use our, our good uh, eight-piece Omnipod bonus. Just again, the, the Prime and the H are very good at this build here. Uh, you just leave everything together, you get an eight-piece Omnipod bonus and uh, you can do basically the same thing that I'm doing here. But anyway, what am I doing here? We have uh, two Two ATM 12s, which are pretty scary. We have uh, three tons of ammo for each. We are running a light active probe. Why the light active probe? Because um, this is our passive ECM counter. If an enemy ECM mech gets close, it is its ECM gets countered by our active probe, and we can still lock on on enemies. Also, we have an active ECM counter, which is our light tag. We just uh, pointed at a mech that is an ECM cover. It won't be an ECM cover anymore, and we can get locks on him and fire our scary, scary ATMs. Our backup weapons are three medium lasers. And I just realized that I did something wrong here. So I think, I think the better build would be going for the medium lasers all in one arm and the heatsink here as well because that makes it so that you have all all of the damaged damaged weapons all of the damaged lasers in in one side and uh, you have a better weapon convergence because of that so you can peek around the corner with the left side and shoot all of your lasers together uh, instead of exposing all your whole mech uh, because the weapons are spread here so i think this would be better but anyway, let's uh, talk about the skills a little bit. We have invested a little bit into the left side, which is the missile side, as you can see. Of course, we are running all the green missile points and uh, we got a little bit of cooldown on top of that and heat generation because firing all of your lasers and the ATMs together will generate a little bit of heat, actually a lot of heat, and um, you need the heat gen to get your mech not to that point. We are running survivability here. We are running the left side, which is the armor side. We got a lot of armor hardening nodes in here. And that's why, um, or that's because we have some armor quirks on the mech. So as you can see, we have a 24 here in the in the left and right torso, and uh, those five and the tens from the center torso, they are coming from the skills. But when we take a look at the omnipods, we will see that we give me that. We have a plus 15 armor in our side torsos and we amplify our armor quirks with the skills so that we get even more out of it. So this is a pretty sturdy uh, mad dog now because of this. Also, we are running uh, kinetic burst, torso speed, heart break, and a little bit of torso yaw here. It's uh, quite nice to have. I think it's not really needed in this build. It doesn't rely so much on mobility because it's more or less a second liner that wants to lob the missiles over the heads of your friendlies. But uh, having that additional mobility is, is again, uh, quite nice to have. We're running full cool run on the side here. We are running 60% uh, radar deprivation and full, uh, almost full target decay. So there's only one node missing down below here. We're running almost full target decay and we get a little bit of a sensor range and a target retention as well. And I have a seismic sensor on top of my consumable slot here. So that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. Come on, stop that. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Assault on HPG Manifold. So I really hope that we are not getting pushed because I saw a lot of enemies in the Charlie 4 area. Now, what do we do here? We set up in close range to the enemies. We uh, shoot them with ATMs, they die. That's the, pro uh, that's the plan. It's so easy, so, so easy. Of course, we need consistent locks for that. And therefore, our target decay should really help. And um, it would be great. Would be great again if the enemies are close. The closer they are, the better it is. Because the missiles will travel a shorter time. That was a lot of damage. That was good. So I'm pretty happy with that outcome. That was a trade that he shouldn't have taken. That was so much damage. I think. Was I in optimal range? In, in a three damage range? I'm not entirely sure. Probably not. But still, it's just so, so dangerous. ATMs are so scary. So what do we need? We need an enemy. Oh, um, a seismic. And that is optimal range. That was good. New target acquired. Uh, I don't have seismic anymore. 
New target acquired. That is not what you do, man. It's so painful if you stay there. You will get shot a lot. Okay. Yeah, that catapult is dead. <laughs> oh god. Again, ATMs. If you if you use them properly, they are oh they are scary. Scary. Never mind. Okay, uh, why are we rotating uh, again? Like, we, we have an advantage, we could fight now. Instead we are moving. I I, I don't like that. <laughs> this is a thing that I see so often on this map. You, you got an advantage and you're not capitalizing on it. Instead, you waste waste a lot of time. I say waste a lot of time, yeah, by uh, repositioning. You are not shooting while the enemy is shooting on you because they got the high ground, right? Oh, don't stop on the ramp, don't stop on the ramp. This is push. Okay. Okay, we got the top again. Hooray. Let's kill the Hellbringer. Okay, never mind. New target acquired. Huntsman. Um, there's a little bit of ECM going on. Uh, I cannot... Acquired. Give me that. Yeah, cool. So, uh, light mechs are a great target for New ATMs target because acquired. they just pop like crazy. Okay, we got a component from the Huntsman. Can we get the kill? Not quite, but he is down to a large pulse laser, which is good. And they have a UAV up, but I don't care at the moment. So we go for the Griffin. It's not optimal, not optimal range, but I want to keep up the pressure here. So we got one more kill than before the rotation, but they got one as well, so that's kind of scary here. Ow, that's scary as well. I think I said scary a lot in this game, right? All right, let's go. Oh, oh. New target. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just stay there. Just stay there. Yes, thank you. Okay, so Griffin, we shoot over here through that gap. Okay, that's not possible anymore. And I'm slightly running hot. And see what I was talking about? We we got a very big advantage that we kind of gave up now because of positioning. Positioning, positioning, positioning. We just moved around so much. And as a result, again, we did not really get something done on the battlefield. All right. Uh, the Mad Cat is, of course, scary. <laughs> Gonna play it a little bit safe against him here. And we have the upper hand again. Now that's good. All right. Let's destroy his side torso there. Let's overheat. Damn it. Damn it. I forgot to override. My missiles went to the ground because of that. Okay, we need close range. We are in range. He should be dead. Yep. Fine. That's how we do it. Okay. Man, I love this. And again, ooh, 120 meters is what we need. Yeah, some of our missiles did not connect. And they are out of ammo now. Or I am out of ammo now. Which means that I am down to uh, three medium lasers and the light tag. So, let's see. Let's drop down. Let's drop down together, guys. Let's do it now. Okay, we got the arm-mounted weapons, which is great. Hello. Can we? Not quite. Uh, is this guy better? No. Oh, this is the one with only large pulse laser. One large pulse laser. So we go for the scary targets first here. We try to pop his side torso. Yeah, I know, I'm half dead, but maybe we can get the kill here. Yes! And now the last one. Alright, that w worked out quite fine here. Sorry for the little bit of team damage. And I still keep my tag online because it gives me um, it gives me Siebel bonuses if I get or if somebody gets a kill while I'm still tagging that guy. So let's uh, try to keep on the tag. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, yes, the tag. Let's trace him. Right side is critical, and we got another kill. Again, I, I really love the ATMs, and the Mad Dog is just a signature mech for missiles. Therefore, um, using ATMs on this guy is it's perfect. It's, it's just so good. You got, uh, again, enough room for the tag, for the medium lasers, a spec up. Heat management is okay-ish. Yeah, that one overheat was unfortunate, but again, we, as you can see, we dealt a thousand damage here. We got three killing blow, eight assists, we got three kill most damage dealt, seven components destroyed, and yeah, that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game uh, of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing Conquest this time. So... Yeah, we are, we are talking about 
baby poo in this game. I, I don't know why, but it kind of escalated. We did some trash talk in the first phase of the game, and uh, <laughs> okay, let's not talk about that. <laughs> All right, um, let's take the top, guys. Let's try to make a make a good trade with our ATMs here. Uh, I, also, I don't forget to override this game here. So we, we uh, agreed on taking the top quickly, and hopefully we can make something here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. That hit. It actually hit. All right. Okay. I'm a little bit surprised by that because I lost lock. Uh, where's the follow-up, guys? <laughs> so far, we only have two mechs here. Guys, we need more on the platform. Like, one or two mechs. We have the dominance over here. Let's keep it. They want to probe us here. Oh, we got a cheetah. Come over here, man. That is so, so, so dangerous. See that? Red everywhere. Ooh, light gauze? Oh, yeah, light gauze. Also, again, uh, our dominance vanishes right now because the follow-up was too late. And I do not want to sacrifice my mech for a plan that only I and the Hellbringer pursues. <laughs> Alright, we got a King Crab now. King Crab on top is good. Some nice uh, area denial platform here. And we just scare off the enemies there with our ATMs. Oh, Cicada. Yeah, 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 give me that Cicada. Again, I'm going for the lighter mechs. Okay, and the double gauze ER large laser. Marauder to see. He's on the left corner. Uh, I'm about to die. That's great. But you know what? This guy is in a better range here. Let's go for the med dog. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool shot. Here is a cheetah coming in. He is probably trying to push me. New target acquired. Goodbye, Miss Lynx. Um nope, he dodged most of my shots. Acquired. And that guy is in cover. Alright. So the good thing is we pushed him back. The bad thing is. Uh, I need to get an angle on them to continue the fire here. Can we shoot over that? We can shoot over that. Okay. Okay, now that's good. New target acquired. And now it's time to arc our missiles around. No, it's not gonna work. Okay, I need better positioning. My positioning in this game is really bad, I have to say. So I try to play it a little bit safe here. And as a result, I'm not getting anything done. So getting your own locks and getting your own position is so crucial when running lock on missiles. It is you that needs to get the lock, not your friends. And uh, you know, You're next four now. make make sure that you are in a in a spot where you can actually fight properly uh, as a missile boat. Don't stay behind. Don't try to dodge all the incoming fire. At some point, you have to expose yourself to help out the team. There we go. Too close. Damn it. Okay, we dodge. Back to cover. One shot. Actually, let's not do that. Let's just destroy that mech. One shot. Ah! Okay, he's dead now. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, Bushwhacker. Problem is my my heat. <laughs> the heat management is okay-ish, I have to say. It's really okay-ish. But at some point, at some point, you will run hot. And um, that's a problem. When you want to keep up the damage and you can't, then, um, you know, you need, to ta you need some time to, to cool down again. And uh, fall back to second line, and I don't like that. I want to shoot all the time here. Good, we got a good advantage now, so we got two kills ahead. New target acquired. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Uh, I want to. Oh, damn it! I lost lock on the Jenna. New target acquired. Here comes the misslings again. He should be not dead, but very damaged now. Also, I'm blocked by this uh, stupid lamp post here, or pillar, whatever. And uh, as a uh, result, I was uh, falling down here, which is horrible. I lost connection to my team now, which means that the light mechs are going to kill me. Okay, Jenner, bring it on. Okay, but the mislings will kill me. Or Cheetah, whatever. It's fine though, it's perfectly fine. So, we did our job, we got two kills, 600 damage. Let's see what my team can pull off here. Alright, uh, the bushwhacker is lagged. Go for the Cheetah, please. The Cheetah is almost dead. Um, so, 8 and 7. Uh, they're starting working on our caps here. Which means that my team, at this point, where you see, in a late game scenario, where you see that somebody is capping, you fight. Because that means that they are drawing firepower away from the front line, which means you have an advantage on the front line. Which means that you can get kills quickly, which you should do. And then you go and retaliate and uh, get the caps back. So this is what I would usually do in most of the cases. Of course, there are some special scenarios where capping would be better because you are so behind that you need to stop the capping. But in this kind of scenario, there's one guy at Theta, guys. Kill him. Oh, no, wait, that's our guy. Never mind. <laughs> Mistlings on top. 
mislinks on top. Uh, this is one guy, and uh, again, the other guy is at Kappa, or was at Kappa. So I assume that's a medium or a light mag on top of, again, the mislinks that is running on top. Delta 5, and there's a guy from Delta 4 coming in. Yeah, we got a cicada. We got a cicada with a laser AMS and medium lasers. It's quite hot. I wouldn't go for this build, actually. I would ditch the laser AMS or go for a regular AMS if you want it. But six mediums and a lambs. Hmm. It's uh, pretty toasty what he's doing there. But hey, if it works for him, it works for him. Uh, at the same time, is he cooking? No, not yet. But he's getting a lot of damage from my teammates. And it's, uh, I think, only a matter of time until they get him. So... No? He dodged it? Ah, oh, so close! So close. Th that guy is so damn damaged. What is our Cicada doing? Is he not going Go for it? Oh, he's running a slow build here. Okay, he's running large lasers, which means that he has to drop a lot of his weight for the engine, or on the engine, to get the large lasers yeah, into the build here. Uh, also, he has ECM on top of it, so again, it's a rather slow, rather slow build for a Cicada. Okay, the Mistlings is still alive. Oh, he is at this point. Wait, there he is. Look at that. He's trying to run. He is running SRMs and heavy mediums, or one heavy medium laser. Interesting build. Usually you see the machine gun mislings, the, the critlings. Uh, but this one is something different. Yeah, just go for the legs, pin him down, and we got it. So all we need is uh, this point now. We got Epsilon just right in front of the Cicada and the Light Mag. And as soon as we, I think as soon as we decap that, we should have it. Yeah, definitely, because we have the advantage in caps. We have an equal number of caps now. End of game. All right. So, that was good. That was a fun game, fun round. Um, again, I lost connection to my team, so the murder ball went to one direction. I fell down into the other direction. The enemy light mechs saw that, and as a result, they were pushing me. And I could I could get the kill on the Jenner, but the Akichida got me down. Anyway. That is your daily dose today. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.